Hi, my name's Kirsten. I am your instructor for today. Um, we're going to be doing a little 10 minute core workout. Um, always work to your ability with your exercises. So if you do have any injuries, always adapt to what is going to be better for you. Also, I would prefer if you've had a little bit of a warm up before you go into this. So if you can, or if you haven't already done so, just a nice little walk around the block for me or if you've done one of the other sessions that we've videoed for you, that will be enough for the warm up for you to be able to go straight into this core session. Um, okay, what we're gonna start with is your ankle taps. So make sure you're comfy and you've got a mat. We're gonna turn out, here we go. So your ankle taps. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna bring your feet in and we're gonna tap. Now, obviously, the harder option is the more you come up, the harder it's gonna be. So if you find that that's too much strain on your neck, you can just hold on to your neck, hold on, put your hand behind, and you're just gonna tap, bring it behind, and swap it over. And don't go as high, but if you can, bring it right up and tap for me. That's it. And again, the more you bring your feet into your bottom, the easier it will be. Keep it going for me. That's it. And get it ready. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, have a little breather. We're gonna go into the Russian twist. So what you're gonna do is come up, slowly come up for me. The easier version, bring the feet in, and you're just gonna twist from side to side. Now, if you want to make that harder, I'm going to get you to bring your feet off of the ground, tap side to side. There shouldn't be any pain in your lower back. If there is, I want you to bring those legs back down again to the side. All right, but if you can, lift those legs up side to side. Keep that going for me. Make sure you're breathing. Do not hold your breath. Ten seconds, keep it going. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring those legs back down. Now we've got the side plank. So there's a few options on the side plank as well. So you're gonna turn onto your side, slight bend in the legs. Easier option is keeping the, your weight all on the floor and you're just lifting up and back down. The harder option is when you're elevated right off the floor, tip this hip forward, lowering down and back up. So your easier option, the hip stays on the floor. You can also put the arm on the floor as well, so use your hand, bring it up and back down. So what I want you to do is five on one side, four, five, turn it round, Boop. swing it over, exactly the same thing. Bring it up, one, two, three, four, five. Let's go again on the other side. Two, three, four, five, round, last one. One, two, Three, four, five. Here we go. Single leg raise. So there's two options on the leg raise anyway. So we're going to go for the single one. So if you want to, to support your lower back, you can put your hands just under your bottom. So your single leg raise, alternate single leg raise. So what you're going to do is drop one leg, bring it back up. Drop the other leg, bring it back up. Now, obviously, if you wanted to make this harder, you've got both legs going down and up. Again, there's another easier option on that one. If you wanted to bend the legs, bring it up, back down. Entirely up to you. There should be no pain in your lower back or your neck. It's just making sure that you adapt that leg raise to what suits you. So the easiest option is your bent legs. 
The next option is straight legs, but single. And then another option is your harder option, which is your doubles. And try and switch on your lower core muscles to bring those legs up for me. Make sure you're breathing, do not hold your breath. Keep it going. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. All right, so what we've got is your scissors, your next option. So, again, hands stay under the bottom, and we're going to work our way down and up. So the scissors, you don't have to go too low. As soon as you feel your core engaging, you can bring them back up again. So it's just up and down. Obviously, if you do have issues with your lower back, don't go too low for me, but just make sure you can put your hands under your bottom. It does give a little bit of support to the lower back. Bring the legs up, scissors. Slowly work your way down and back up again. Keep that going for me. Make sure you're still breathing. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. Perfect. Next one we've got, meet in the middle. I like to call it meet in the middle. So you're in a star position and you're gonna come up and meet your opposite leg with your hand or you, and you're gonna touch your shin if you can. Bring it up and back down. The easier option for that one, if you're gonna bring the legs up already, hold it there and you're just gonna tap and back down. Harder option. Easier option. That's it, make sure you're breathing. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Have a little breather. All right, we're gonna go back in. We've got ankle taps. Give yourself a little 20 second rest. Go on to the second round. Remember, you can bring your feet in as much as you want to. Here we go, three, two, one, raise it up, tap those ankles. And if you need to take little rests in between, so you can go for 10 ankle taps, have a little breather, 10 ankle taps, have a little breather, you can do, or if you can go all the way through, fantastic. But if not, take little breaks. You've got 10 seconds. Remember, you can support your neck if you want to. So swap the arm. Three, two, one. Here we go, Russian twist. So we're going to sit up. You can have your feet on the floor or you can take them off. Obviously, if you're going to take them off the floor, that's the harder option. Three, two, one. One, here we go, side to side. Wonderful, keep that going for me. Three, two, one. All right, side plank. Remember your options on your side plank. Have a little breather before we start. Keep that knee on the floor. 
Are we ready? Here we go. So five on one side, five on the other. Bring it up and back down. Up and back down. You've done your five, swap it over. And remember your easier option, just bring it up and back down. Here we go, last one. Wonderful, here we go, leg raises. Remember your choice of leg raises, whether they're bent legs, single legs, or double legs. So I'll go through them again. Hands under your bottom. The easiest version is bent legs, and you just toe toe back down to the floor, bring it up. Make sure you're breathing, try not to hold your breath. That's your easiest option. Second option, single legs, but straight. And then your last option is obviously your double legs. Bring it up using your lower core, pull yourself up. You don't have to go too low on that one. Keep it going, you've got 10 seconds. Three, two, one. From that position, I'm just gonna get you to bring your knees in, give them a little hug for me. Little circles on the lower part of your spine. All right, here we go, we're into the scissors. So again, hands under the bottom. Scissors, you can lower all the way down, or you can just go as far as your ability will let you. Up and down. That's it. Make sure you're breathing. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, we've got our meat in the middle. Let's go. Bring it up, tap, back down. Again, that's your harder option. So if you wanted the easier option, the legs are already up there, just tap it. Again, harder option. Boom. Here we go, 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Just bring those knees in. Nice little hug for me. Wonderful. And thank you for coming to my class today. Um, well done everybody. Have a nice stretch if you've got time to do that as well.